How do you feel like you have a fighting chance if you are Mike McCarthy after everything that has happened this offseason? From Jerry's mouth to the offseason moves, the subtractions, I'm dying to know what Mike McCarthy is thinking. Was he behind? I mean, I guess you could argue that he was I I could argue, I'll make an argument that he was in support of Amari Cooper and Leo Collins being gone. If Mike McCarthy is that hardcore Pittsburgh football guy and he didn't think he could count on them or that they were totally all in. That would be my argument for Mike McCarthy to be fine. We we know that he had something against Lael because one could argue Lael got punished last year uh, with his playing status and Terrence Steele's rise up the roster. So I think it's much easier to make the case that McCarthy was like, screw this guy. He can go. Get him up out of here. Yeah. Amari, that would be a, a, a harder case, but showing up in big games, disappearing in moments, not being able to practice, the vaccination status, even though McCarthy originally did not get vaccinated. I, I could make a case. I don't know it. I could make a case that maybe Mike McCarthy was fine with these two moves. Sure. Well yeah. done. Screw the guy <laughs> uh, who is the 37th best pass blocker in the NFL among all tackles left and right. Screw the guy who was the third best run blocking tackle again among all tackles left and right behind only Tyron Smith and Trent Williams. Ooh, wow. Screw the guy with an elite 82 pro football focus grade. Screw him. Well, yeah. he's old, RJ. He's 30 or old. Wait. Leo Collins? Yeah, he's not old. No, he's not old. He's less than 30. Yeah. Screw him. Get rid of him. <laughs> yeah, get rid of Amari Cooper at his 73 grade. Let's, 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 let's get, you know, let's not. Let's put some language in Randy Gregory Gregory's contract. You know, the guy with the 85 pass rush grade. Let's get rid of Connor Williams who had a 76 grade. Let's just get rid of him. Yeah, don't worry. Oh, yeah, I can make the argument. Go ahead, get rid of Connor Williams. We already benched him. Uh, we did bring him back, but we, we, we did bench him in the first place. What what do y'all think Mike McCarthy is thinking right now? True serum. Um, I, I, I think he's definitely was... A part of the plan. Oh, okay. So I, you don't think he's you don't think he's angry. You uh, think he's in on it, in on it versus angry. I, I think most coaches are in on the plan. Yeah, or at least they, they know about the plan, but they don't direct the front office. No, they don't. Nor should they. Uh, but I think they're they're in on it. You know, they're 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 not just aware of it. They're in on it. Especially, the, you know, this organization does kind of operate like that. It's not like this is not one of those. The perception of this organization and the reality of the front office is um, is wildly, you know, opposite. Um, uh, maybe Mike's looking at this from the, you know, the analytics say you you pay the quarterback. You don't pay anybody else, basically. Uh, but I can't imagine the coach would want to follow that trend. You would want the best players you possibly can get. They're not. They're not better today than they were in January. Uh, they're worse. And 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 now they could be better if Dak plays at a higher level. You know, if Dak plays the way he played weeks one through five, I don't care who the wide receivers are. They're going to be fine. They're going to score 27, 30 points a game. Uh, but, you know, the defense is a little bit worse. And it's going to regress anyway. Diggs is not getting 11 picks again. Is he? No. I mean, am I, am I the only one that thinks that? Of course not. No. You think that too. Now, they move Mike at an edge. Okay, maybe now what does that do? Now you got a whole linebacker. You bring there's your Bobby Wagner. Uh, they could salvage this, but Mike McCarthy clearly is in a worse spot today than he was in January. If I'm Mike McCarthy, I have one foot out the door. Oh, I'm make, I'm, I am shining up that resume. I am making phone calls. Say, guys, how can they? How, how can you expect me to win with this? And if I'm Mike McCarthy, I feel Jerry Jones sabotage me. To start the offseason, and Stephen Jones is sabotaging me now. That's the way I would look at it. Yeah, that they have they have set him up to fail. You're not wrong. Uh, that that that's the way I would think. Unless McCarthy was in, and 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 it was his idea. He supported Amari gone, Leo gone, um, Tank, and we need to get rid of him. He can go. Randy Gregory. I don't know. I'm I'm dying to know how McCarthy really feels about all these moves. Okay, 877-881-1053. So I would be looking elsewhere 
and getting ready to get up out of here if I was Mike McCarthy. What are you thinking of your Dak Prescott today? You lost your number one wideout. They brought back Schultz. They extended Gallup. And you lost your boy at right tackle. Well, if I'm Dak, Dak doesn't, you know, players think of it from a, I want the most talent around me. Um, so he's he's probably upset. Unless, now, unless there's any truth to the Black Kirk Cousins talk, which that we know there isn't, but let's just say, for the sake of argument, those two had a rift. Yeah. Um, Dak that, and Amari. Dak and Amari. We know, that, we know that Amari felt like Dak wasn't getting him the ball enough. He told right. G-Bag that. Right. So maybe there was a little bit of a of a tussle between the two. And Dak may be thinking like Aaron Rodgers this morning. There's a chance that Aaron Rodgers is thinking, We're, we'll be fine. Of, I, yeah. I'm Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I really made Devontae Adams. He, we know he didn't make me. I'm, I contributed more into making Devontae Adams, who the Raiders just traded for. And if Dak Prescott has that mentality, he will think and say, yeah, Amari's a good player. But I'm Dak Prescott, and I got C.D. Lamb and Michael Gallup and Dalton Schultz, and watch me elevate C.D. and Gallup's game. There's a chance he's thinking that way versus, oh my God, they screwed, they screwed me out of my number one receiver. You could think I'm going to elevate these other guys. Yeah, I'm just going to elevate Dalton Schultz a little bit more. Now the one thing, the one thing they haven't done, they haven't publicly because they're in hiding right now. They haven't publicly tossed Dak under the bus yet for his contract. I'm waiting for that. I'm I'm waiting for that and and waiting to see if that ticks Dak off. If Steven comes on or Jerry goes, hey, you know, when you give the quarterback, when you pay the quarterback, it's just a reality in this league. Maybe they'll soften it and cushion it even more and say, look, when you got when you have big time players, when you have stars, you got to make sacrifices elsewhere. That would be an okay way to say it. But if they get specific and say, you know. You, we had to we had to rob Peter to pay Dak. I, I could see that ticking him off a little bit, and I would not advise that to Jerry or Steve. No, because it'd be an inaccurate statement. Because that you know that is the quarterback business. Um, you know, the quarterback money is. They're, they're, look, they're 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 just underpaid. They are they're, even Dak's underpaid for not compared to the amount of the percentage that he gives you a chance to win versus the percentage of the cap that he takes up. He takes up about 20% of the cap. He gives you, he makes, he's about 70% of your chances to win. Every quarterback is. So the, bring that noise to Zeke. <laughs> bring it to Tank's old contract. Bring it to Jalen Smith deal that they're still paying off. 877-881-1053, a Cowboys edition. Fill in the blank of what are they thinking? And then finally, and most importantly, what are Jerry and Stephen Jones thinking right now? Fill in that blank. I'll start off with JJ. If I'm Jerry, I'm thinking, you know, maybe I gave up the reins on this a little bit too early. I want Stephen to obviously get his hands dirty. I want him to be hands-on as much as possible. But, but... But, but maybe it's time for me to step in here a little bit more. Maybe this was maybe this was a little bit premature and I and I need to take back over. That's what I'd be thinking if I was Jerry Jones. And if I'm Steven Jones, this has been my theory. I don't know. I'm dying to get it confirmed. If I'm Steven Jones, I'm thinking this is a new day around here. The new day is that who? It's the new day who? is that the owls? Who? Who? Okay, not the owls, not the, the owls. owls. Oh. Oh, God, it's a it, it's it's a new day around here. All y'all in the media, all y'all do on 105.3 The Fan is talk about how entitled we are. All you do is talk about how overhyped we are. All you do is talk about how overpaid we are. I'm cleaning that mess up. I'm sitting here. And bringing out the broom on these fools in this offseason. And we are not going to overpay good players elite money. And y'all been crying about it. And we haven't gotten anywhere. So now I'm doing something different. And now you don't like that either. That's what I'd be thinking if I was Steven Jones. Yeah, but It's a new day. Yes, it is. <laughs>
Yeah, I, look, I get it, but they're, that's the thing. You know, the whole idea that they're overpaying, they overpaid Amari Cooper, they didn't. They didn't overpay Amari. That's the market for a wide receiver. It ain't Amari's fault that Dak Prescott didn't get him the ball. Amari was open. Get him the football. They didn't They didn't overpay Amari Cooper. Maybe they overpaid Dak, but I don't think they did because I think Dak is paid exactly where he should be. Yeah, but they're saying that they may be saying, yeah, the market calls for that, but if you can't if you can't live up to it, we're just not going to pay it. But how did he not live up to it? They, You don't know, and I don't know, and nobody knows. You're taking your yards per separation stat. They don't think he care. They, just, just bear with me. They are leaking it. He didn't care enough about football. They're pissed off at him because he didn't play because of COVID. They thought he disappeared in bigger moments and in, in bigger games against top corners or in the cold. So... I don't know if they're blaming it all on Dak. I don't know if they're blaming it on Kellen. They apparently had an issue with Amari. That's yeah. their analysis of it. It got personal. I don't, I mean, that. They, what, they what, think what, he's what? not, they don't think, if you are not a top seven receiver, I'm not going to pay you $20 million a year. They, they maybe expected him to be a top seven receiver. He's not. So we're moving on. We're moving off it. That's that. That I'm just saying would make sense from their point of yeah. view. I, like I, you know, for your your a lot of those things are non football issues. Like what? That you know, uh, uh, performance issues. A lot of those things are non performances. That, that the vaccination status. That he didn't care about they, they, football. They, they, they think that since he didn't get vaccinated, he didn't. He he wasn't totally all in. That's what they think. Yeah. Jerry Jones said it. Michael right. Irvin believes that too. And and. and they're fools. <laughs> They're fools. Um, and, you know, the idea that he disappears or whatever, again, it's it's all about opportunity. Are you getting the ball? If you're not getting the ball, then you don't have the opportunity to reach your potential. If the Cowboys don't choose. And, and for the record, I blame Dak on that. Yeah, Me, I do too. Sean Shreve, I blame Dak and Kellen for that more than Amari. I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah. why, why did they cut him? I think these things played into it. That's what they've been leaking. Yeah.